Hey, FJA parents, this is Ben Jeffries. I am the seventh and eighth grade math teacher here at FJA. Um, and I just wanted to present a quick tutorial video for you all so you know what you can do on Buzz in order to see uh, what work your student has to do, their grades, and also how much activity they have had in their different classes. Um, I'm actually finding our learning management system, which is Buzz, this year to be actually quite user-friendly and pretty robust. And I think you'll really like the tools and features that are available to parents. So um, when you come to your login, FJ Academy slash Benito, or if you were at the Cedar campus, it'd be slash Cedar. So if you have a student over there at our elementary school, that's the uh, login you would be using. Come to this uh, login. Actually, I'm just going to make sure you see it. So it's this uh, login right there. You're going to click login up here. And then down here, before you even enter the username, I suggest you click Login as Parent. You are going to be using your student's login. So that's going to be their first initial plus last name, and then their password, which should be their birth date in double digit format. So it'd be digit, digit, slash, digit, digit, slash, and then four digits for the year, uh, month, day, year. I'm going to log in actually as a tester student account, but I'm going to be their parent. Um, so this is just a fake account. Um, once you log into Buzz, you're going to see a number of things. Um, you could click on Activity Stream, um, and that's going to show you uh, different work and announcements that have been posted. Um, you can see I posted a lot of announcements recently. You can also see they misspelled my name, but uh, I'm too far in to go back now. Um, but I guess let's talk about this first page. Uh, first page, you're going to see the classes that your student is enrolled in. So right here, um, there's also going to be their homeroom um, for that student. And uh, you would also see up here on the right hand corner announcements. Um, you can click on that uh, just to see exactly what the student has seen. Um, and then there's a, a couple other things you can play around with. But for the purposes of this video, let's click on my math class. So here, uh, you're looking at this student's performance of my math class. You can see activities. You can actually see all the things that they're able to see, what they should be working on. If there's a green checkbox, that means that the students have done that um, activity and they've moved through it already. Um, up here, though, the main part I want to show you all, you can access the grade book and the activity list two different ways. Um, so you have grades up here. And then you could also come over here and go to grades as well. So I'm just going to come over here, click on grades. Once you're in the grade book, you are able to see a number of things. So you're able to see, and I'm going to move this out of the way. Um, you're able to see the due date. Um, notice if something is past due, so this tester student didn't hand in their FJA mathematics pre-assessment yet, um, or in this case, because people could hand it in in person, they might have already, but it's a tester student. Anyways, um, be patient on that one. You'll notice that the due date is in red. That means it's past due. If it's been turned in or done on time, then the due date is in black. So this one, all they had to do is actually just do a, a quick submission. Um, the main cool thing about this, though, is if you come over here on the blue bar, click on activity, you are going to see a list of all of the activities that this student has been doing in their different classes. Um, and it's going to show you the start time and then the duration of time they spent on those activities. Um, so it gives you a really clear idea of, hey, uh, did my student actually spend that time? on Buzz, or were they playing Fortnite or watching YouTube videos? Um, you'll be able to really see that very clearly. Um, anyways, please let us know if you have any questions. Um, poke around in here, play around with it. Um, I bet you guys can find some really cool things uh, that, even, that I didn't even show you on this video. Um, so I hope you all have a great day and uh, enjoy online learning this year. Peace.